In this video, we're going to determine what is a median line, what does that mean, and how do we get the equation of it. This is not to get confused with something called a perpendicular bisector, for which I'll have a video or two as well. So we've been asked to graph triangle RST. So that's a pretty simple task, I guess. So let's graph that. So negative three, negative one for my R value. Three, five. And of course you can have your own graph paper out follow along, try this out on your own, seven, negative three for my T. It's always recommended that you try this out. Don't just watch. Okay, and now I have the pleasure of trying to connect these with straight lines. You would use a ruler for sure, but my caffeinated hands are gonna make these nice squiggly lines for us. Okay, so we've been asked to uh, graph the triangle, done, graphed. Now let's prove that the midpoint of ST, let's discuss where that is. So I'm pretty sure the midpoint of ST will be roughly here. Let's just see if I'm right in just a second. And we've been asked to prove that it is a bisector. Now what is a bisector? Now bisector means it cuts the line ST into two equal parts, two that are the same length. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, distance equation. Alrighty, so we're going to first find that midpoint. So let's go ahead and do that. And the midpoint equation is not particularly difficult. So we're gonna find the midpoint of ST and the X values, three and seven, we'll add those, divide by two, the Y values, five and negative three, and we will add those. So five plus negative three is like subtracting, divide those by two. Okay, so that's 10 over two, so five, and that's two over two, so one. So it looks like the midpoint is at five and one. So I did guess it correctly. So we've got the point five and one. Now we need to prove that it's a bisector. So how are we gonna do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the length of one side. Let's do the side uh, right here, which would be SM. And then we're gonna do the length of the other side. So first thing I'm gonna do is the length or the distance from S to M or M to S, however it is you wanna say it. So we're gonna employ the distance equation. We're gonna subtract our X values. So three take away five, we'll square that. We are now going to find the delta of the y values. So five take away one, five take away one, and we'll square that. And that gives us negative two squared, negative two squared, and four squared, four squared. All right, so that is the square root of four plus 16, which is the square root of 20. Now we're going to find the length of the remainder here, which I'm trying to highlight in purple. Okay, so from M to T or TM. So we'll find the distance of TM, the trademark distance, I guess. And so the distance of TM, we're gonna follow the same setup of our delta X and our delta Y. So T delta X, seven minus five for the midpoint negative three minus one. That is the square root of seven take away five. Seven take away five is two squared is four and negative four squared, which is 16. So we're gonna have the same distance, the square root of 20 and the square root of 20. I mean, I could get exact values for this, but if we take the square root of 20, it's going to be a gross value. And so we can say definitively, therefore the midpoint the midpoint of ST is in fact a bisector. It cut ST in half. Now what we're going to be asked to do, the last half of this is we're gonna be asked to determine the equation of the median line from vertex R. That's a lot to take in there. So let's just, let's just decipher what this means. So equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we're gonna have to employ y equals mx plus b. What is a median line from vertex r? Well, the hint is from vertex r. So let's start at vertex r, which I'll highlight in yellow. And we need to get a median line. So a median is middle. 
Okay, so if I had the numbers two and three, whatever is in the middle, in this case 2.5, is the median. So if I'm finding the median line, it means to cut something down the middle or in half. Now I already have a midpoint here, so it's a huge hint. A median line goes from a vertex to the midpoint of a line across from it. So this yellow line that I'm sort of shading in here is a median line. So I'll say it again. A median is a line that goes from a vertex on a triangle or a shape, it doesn't have to be a triangle, to the midpoint of the line across from it. So we're gonna go from R, so from R, which is the point three, negative one, to the midpoint. And so I'll just write that down. Our midpoint is five, one. Okay, so we have enough information now. Oh, and the x of r is negative. So that's negative three, negative one. So we're ready to go. We've got our two points. We have enough information. We're going to need to find the slope. So negative one, take away one. So that's negative one, take away one, over negative three, take away five. Negative three, take away five. That's negative two over negative eight. And so we get a nice positive slope of one quarter. And we can check that. We can go back up to our graph and we can see if a slope of a quarter makes sense. So up one over four, up one over four. It's working, that's the right slope. Okay, so now I've got my slope. How do I get the rest of the equation? Essentially what I have is y equals one quarter x plus a b value or a c value, depending on where you're coming from. And I need to be able to place a value into x and into y in order to get b by itself, in order to isolate b. And I have an x here and I have a y here and I have an x here and I have a y here and I get to choose which one I'm going to use. You're not gonna use both at the same time, but it has to be a point that is on the line rm. It can't be any other point. The only ones we have are r and m. So pick the one that's kind of the easiest to use. I like to cheat that way. So the values are positive in M, so let's do that. So one equals one quarter times five plus my y-intercept. I'm gonna try and make my life easy with the fractions by using a scientific calculator or something like that. You don't wanna start converting into decimals. I'll subtract five quarters on both sides. So we'll just do this. And so my B value is negative a quarter. Then you could ask yourself if that makes sense. On the graph, my equation seems to be one quarter x minus a quarter, and it just so happens that they're both a quarter. It doesn't always end up that way. Just a total coincidence. So positive a quarter on my slope already seem to be good. And if we're taking a look down here at the y-intercept, yeah, I mean negative a quarter kind of makes sense right there. So that's a median line. And again, with the orange, as I discussed before, a bisector means to cut a line in half. I highly recommend you take a look at my other video on a perpendicular bisector, which is a little bit different from a median. Now, why are we teaching you these sorts of things? Or why do people go over these kinds of questions? Well, it's because we have given you tools. I've given you these tools of slope, slope y-intercept form, midpoint of a line, distance of an equation or, of a, or distance of a line. What tool should you use for what situation? You know, a carpenter has a hammer and a saw. When will he use one or the other? What we're doing is we're putting your brain to work here. All right, and that's it for this video. I hope you learned something today and I want you to put this into practice, find some questions that practice this. Leave a comment in the comment section if you want. Obviously, you can subscribe if you want and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, bye.